The Arkansas Game and Fish Commission manages fish and wildlife and their habitats across the natural state. But another important aspect of the agency's mission is connecting Arkansans with wildlife and nature. For more than a decade, the Arkansas Water Trail System has been providing easily accessible day trips in a variety of settings. One of the newest trails is the H Lake Water Trail on the Dale Bumpers White River National Wildlife Refuge in Southeast Arkansas. The H Lake Water Trail are two oxbows that have joined together and it makes a loop. It's about 3.3 miles, so it's a lovely way to explore from one oxbow lake to the other. For folks that haven't paddled in flat water, you don't need a shuttle, so it's the easy button. So put in, paddle as far as you want, and paddle back to your vehicle. So it's really an easy way to paddle. There's great wildlife viewing, there's great fishing in these areas. These are nice, easy paddles. If you're new to paddling, you know, they're a great way to take your family, your kids, get out and explore. There's all kinds of groups, you know, join any kind of Facebook group or Arkansas paddling groups, and you're gonna find other folks that are out exploring these water trails. H Lake is on the south unit of the White River National Wildlife Refuge, a 160,000 acre U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service property consisting mostly of bottomland hardwood forest. The White River National Wildlife Refuge is pretty spectacular as far as a place to see wildlife. This time last year, I was lucky enough to see a flock of roseate spoonbill and wood stork that had migrated to the state and were back on a back part of the water trail. I saw river otters the same day. Of course, you're gonna get lots of migratory birds in the spring, all kinds of neotropical migrants, those little flashy warblers. In the winter, this place fills up with waterfowl. So it's also one of the most likely places you could see a black bear in the state. So I've not been lucky enough to see one here in the refuge, but there are more bears per acre here than anywhere else in the state, even the Washita's and the Ozarks. H Lake provides diverse wildlife viewing and fishing opportunities throughout the year, but visitors should keep in mind that refuge roads that provide access to the trail are closed from December 15th until March 1st each winter. Water levels also can affect access to H Lake. The Fish and Wildlife Service requires visitors who are hunting, fishing, or launching boats to obtain a $20 annual public use permit for the area. H Lake is extremely remote but mapping applications that work with cell phones allow visitors to stay on course. If you're gonna visit the H Lake Water Trail, which I highly recommend, it's one of my favorite places. It is a virtual trail. There's not trail markers around the lake to mark the way. So before you come, download the free Avenza map app, go to our website and get the trail map of the H Lake Water Trail. It uses the GPS in your phone. So today I've had my phone on airplane mode, but the entire time I could use the map and see the little blue dot showing me where I am on the trail loop. Those Avenza maps are a really great backup plan to have when you're out exploring a water trail. You can learn more about H Lake and every Game and Fish water trail, as well as specific hunting, fishing, and wildlife viewing opportunities at agfc.com. We've been working on water trails for over 10 years now at the Game and Fish Commission. Um, we look for partners around the state. If you go to agfc.com, you can look at the trails, find driving directions, GPS coordinates, information on fishing in the area and wildlife viewing. There's also an application. If you know of a water trail you think would be perfect in your part of the state, contact me, turn in an application. We'd love to partner with folks around the state to develop other water trails. So that's our goal, just to make more paddling opportunities, fishing opportunities, wildlife viewing opportunities all around the state.